Hello everyone and welcome to another PlaneShift development blog video. So today I would like to speak a bit about our database. As you know, PlaneShift has thousands of registered users and uh, hundreds of uh, concurrent players. And so definitely what we need is a pretty solid and strong database behind. We decided to use MySQL already a long time ago. Now MySQL is at version 5.5, which is uh, powerful and solid enough for all our usage. You can download it by going to mysql.com, which is the website they have, and uh, the software is free to use. So uh, we are uh, using it since a um, long time with, uh, I would say, good results. Uh, if you want to see what is the uh, actual structure of the uh, database, what you can do, you can check out our uh, subversion repository from SourceForge. You can find instruction on our website under development sources. And actually, that is the downloading to your machine uh, full structure with all our source code and also with the database table. So in particular, if you go under uh, uh, the SRC server database uh, directory, you will find all is needed to view and um, to modify our database. So the database uh, here has uh, one uh, project file that I will show you in a second. And also it has uh, under MySQL, all the, uh, all, the, all the SQL files, so all the text files that are uh, used to um, create the actual database. So each of these files that you see here is actually one table and uh, inside these files you have the declaration of all the fields and columns and data types that we are using. Obviously it's not very easy let's say to look at it this way and so it's probably not the best way. In fact uh, uh, what we are using, we are using MySQL Warbench which is uh, also a free, a free tool that uh, can be downloaded from the web and um, I have already opened MySQL Warbench here and you can open it up after installing it just by double clicking on the plan shift MWB uh, file, this one. Okay, so if you double click on this one, the uh, MySQL board bench shows up. And actually, you can see the PlanShift database. Um, so, what I did up to now is to, uh, let's say, organize the database into logical areas to ensure that, uh, I mean, it's a bit easier to read. As you can see, it's a pretty, it's a pretty big database composed of uh, really many tables. I think it's uh, 90 or more tables. And uh, some are, uh, say, really the core of our system. So I would say that the character table definitely is the core of our system. So it's the one that uh, holds all the players and all the NPCs. And you can see all the different fields that are available here in, the, um, in this character table. So I'm uh, giving you the time to uh, read it a bit. You can see the basics uh, statistics. You can see the money, the character as, and so on. Not all the fields are applicable, let's say, to both NPCs and players. And uh, at this point, we decided to have a single table, uh, let's say, just for uh, simplicity. But uh, probably in the future, we would like to split into two separate tables uh, so that we can really separate better the management of the characters, the player characters, and the non-player characters. So uh, what you see here on screen, I mean, any of those lines is actually, let's say, a connection between one ID and another ID in another subtable. So if we go here to the left, you can see that all this group of tables is used for uh, for game masters. Okay, and in fact, the game masters can uh, create events, and players can participate in those events. And in fact, you have this character event table that, that is tracking it. Uh, they are actually logging the comments that they are launching. So, and uh, they can go back and see, see exactly what they did in case something, something goes wrong. They have a list of bans uh, for uh, banning people from the game in case something uh, is not proper. Uh, they have a list of warning and they have a petition table as well, which is dedicated to answering, let's say, to, play, to uh, players players questions. If we scroll down here, still connected to the character table, you have a, a lot of other uh, small tables which are uh, uh, taking care, for example, of the body lists or uh, of the paths connection. And this is the character relationship table. It actually connects one, say, player or one character to another character. 
then you have introductions then if you go down you have the character quest so all these areas are dedicated to character quests uh, so our quest actually these days are using a pretty uh, smart I would say uh, system for scripting uh, which gives us uh, pretty much flexibility and allows us to, to write a quest in a, in a simple way and it is why in, you have this table called quest scripts Okay, in this table quest scripts you have just one let's say uh, field which is called the script which is containing the actual uh, uh, the actual database script for the uh, for the quest so if you scroll down you see other sections like monster loot so this is the uh, items are the items that are spawned by the monsters where you, where you kill one it's actually pretty simple so we have defined some loot rules and some root details and uh, a loot modifier so basically whenever uh, a monster is killed this table uh, gives the information about the um, uh, the rule that is applied so that the type of loot that the monster can spawn and all the modifiers are let's say the uh, stats and skills that the player is uh, improving thanks to that uh, particular item one very important thing to mention is that uh, obviously if you consider that there are hundreds of players we cannot really write to the database all the time or read from the database all the time otherwise the disk of the server would be a, a real bottleneck so basically the whole database uh, is read at startup um, and so when the server is starting up is parsing all these tables and is loading all these tables uh, in memory and so all the let's say subsequent access is completely done in memory we are then writing definitely to database whenever it is needed the information of the players but it's not done real time so again it's done in memory and then is um, uh, synchronized with the database at specific interval let's say in a kind of a, an intelligent writing delayed writing so what you see here are the spawn ranges and the spawn uh, rules so this is the area dedicated to what we call the NPC client and we will probably have another video on uh, the server architecture but uh, let's say that uh, these tables are the ones that are managing the, uh, the actual monsters and these are the tables that are managing the tribes okay? and obviously if you want to access to those tables what you can do you can just uh, launch uh, let's say a common prompt if you have the server on uh, your machine and you can just connect to MySQL through, um, through a prompt and what you can do you can uh, show the tables that are available and first of all you have to select one uh, database and then you can show the tables of the database and yeah 94 wow we have 94 tables at the moment in the database so not all of them are really used but uh, let's say uh, many of them are I would say 99% of them are so there are a few that uh, also in the schema here I have uh, mark, marked as uh, not used or for future usage if I remember correctly they are here on the bottom bottom right so there are a few, yeah, this group that are for future users, but the majority of the others are, are really in use. This means that uh, they are used for the server itself or are used for uh, other applications that we have connected to the, uh, to the database. For example, our um, uh, web console. We will speak about the web console maybe in another video. But anyway, you can access the information here. You can uh, uh, obviously uh, describe a specific table, so like the characters table and you see what are all the fields obviously it's much harder to read the database this way but um, definitely if you need to do changes or if you need to do uh, uh, say a server maintenance like we do pretty often or we have to load uh, say the information uh, through a batch process definitely you have to use a command line and you cannot do it uh, visually because it's, uh, it's, not, uh, it's not that scriptable okay so there is a bit about what I wanted to show you so to show you our database so what you uh, uh, have seen is uh, mysql and mysql workbench that can actually read uh, the plan shift uh, structure you also have uh, seen that we have created already here in our uh, svn one project file that you can open up which is exactly the one that you are seeing here uh, in which you can inspect the database other thing that I can show you are the items stats so there is the area dedicated to um, to the items and big set of fields connected also to the events and the animations that those uh, items may uh, cause with the character 
so for example we may decide to use a specific animation when using a specific weapon so when we will have two uh, two handed weapons we will be able to uh, to use that and uh, to uh, have uh, different animations connected to it then you have the armor versus weapon which is actually the table that maintains uh, all the rules for uh, understanding how much damage is doing a specific weapon against a specific armor let's see what you have here you have here the item instances which actually are um, counting and keeping track of the uh, items which are in the world that's it I think that uh, yes we have all the table about character creation but I don't want to go too much into details with just more of an overview of the database so I hope you enjoy this video and I will speak to you soon